So I'm joined by Alex after a rather uh, interesting afternoon, should we say, at Tall Point. I think nobody put this down as a 3-5 away win, uh, if you put money on it. And I guess at 1-0 up at half time and then 2-0 quite early in the second half, it we, you still wouldn't have seen that second half coming. What's your sort of overall take um, on on the game today? On the mental game. On yeah, the mental was, game, yes. It, it was, was a bit. Just that mental. Um, just just catching my breath back, really. Um, a lot happened in that. We were really poor the first 45 minutes, actually, I thought. We were just really loose, and I thought we were quite heavy, which is unlike us after the, the last couple of weeks. So we, were, we weren't great going into the lead at 1 0 at half time. And do you know what? The second half, I was expecting a really tight, close game where there wasn't much distances between uh, between the units on both sides, and it was just going to be a cagey one. I didn't, I wasn't expecting the game to open up like that. That was that was carnage. That was utter carnage. But like, we had no control in it, and I don't think they needed either. Which I mean, is... the conditions are difficult. It was it's been raining heavily. I mean, anyone's yeah. down here you can see the pitch. It's it, you know you couldn't get much control. No. Uh, so that's not going to help anyone. No, and it just lit. It, I wouldn't say it was littered with mistakes, but. It, it suited the small nippy players today because there's like people struggling to um, you know, stay on their feet and slip on the side in. But like, all that aside, um, eh? <laughs> um, all that aside, it was all about the quality in front of goal because we were we, it was playing on moments today. I wouldn't say we dominated the football match at all, no. um, and we just had to take our chances when we when we could, and we did. We were really ruthless because we haven't conceded many goals this season at all. And, you know, for us to see three, you're like, oh, God, because we got ourselves three one up. And I thought that was the, the match uh, winning goal from Joe. Yeah, Tier. that's what we felt, well. we felt as well. We felt as well. And I right. thought that was it. I thought we were going to go on and manage it. And then they came back and scored really two two quick fire goals. And, like, I, I'm really disappointed with um, the decision for one of them. But we're like, that aside, we had a lot come at us that second half and a lot of things go against us when it got back to 3-3. Three, three. And with the momentum with them, the character that we then showed to, to swing the momentum the other way and a key moment, 3-3, uh, I, I don't know, there must have been 10 minutes to go and Sid Camper scores the most unbelievable header and it was a real captain's performance from him today. He was outstanding. And then, then we just went another gear and that's, you know, we got to come here. we got to come to places like this if we want to do well and we've got to come out with results when things are all going against you and you feel like, you know, we, we spoke about before the game and just after is that now we're at the top with there to be shot at. And it feels like everything that could have gone against us probably nearly did today. And we overcome yeah. it and we showed the character and the quality. And that's a big win for us because that that could have gone the other way today. We could Absolutely. Have lost that Absolutely. And I think at 3-3, three, three, you sort of think, well, again, in the past, maybe, or you were waiting for well, people's heads go down, but they, they didn't. As you say, it was a bit tricky at that point. It could have gone either way. And then we came in and, and managed to yep. see it out. I think because the boys know there's goals in the team, I think, you know, we, we even bought an attacker off and put a defensive one on, which was actually an attacking substitution. Yes. Because um, it, it gave us the extra man in midfield with James Wakefield coming on and, and bringing Owen off. So that you might have looked at that glass of defensive one, but it freed up Alex Cam and Fred King, who I thought both were magnificent today. Like, really, really good. And they were... They got us that fifth goal, which was really important between the two of them. They're and again, the goals were pain. shared around between people and, mm. and the assists and everything else. I mean, again, like last week, it you're helps. saying it, yeah. it does make a difference, doesn't it? It does, because when the goals come from around the side, you you, you know, it's um, it brings you with confidence. We need a set-piece goal, which we haven't been, um, you know, we did, I can see come in and Sid pops up and, and Joe Till, you know, running from midfield and with an unbelievable turn and finish. And it, it means there's goals in the side. And that's why we didn't then at 3-3, three, three, let the occasion and let the momentum swing their way. We, yeah. we, you know, reset and we went again. And that was a brilliant, you know, last 10, 15 minutes in tricky conditions. So, yeah, great day. Really good week. It means, uh, you know, we will stay at the top of the league and, and then we're there to be shot at next week. So, yeah, well, there we go again. Great. Nice. Well, it's a very strange day. Very nice day. Good result. Back yeah. home up the M5. Happy. 100%. Another winning Cornwall. So we'll keep that going, please. Perfect. Cheers, Super. mate. Cheers.